Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today I'm going to show you a super cool way on how to create custom vignettes inside of Affinity Photo. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. So as you know, Affinity Photo has the built-in way to create a vignette where we go down here to live filters and click on vignette and you have a bunch of adjustments, but we are not going to use this today because you can see it is fairly limited from what it can do. So we want to have custom vignettes and complete artistic freedom. And there's a very easy way to do that. The way I want to show you is that you go and create an adjustment layer. You can see down here adjustments, click on that, select levels as your adjustment layer and make sure that this levels adjustment layer sits on top of everything else that you have created so it can influence everything below that. So, and of course, already, if we move the levers around here, you can see we can adjust the brightness and a lot of other things in this adjustment, but this is not a vignette. So how do we make it a vignette? Well, select your levels adjustment layer and then hit Control G on your keyboard, G like God, for example, and this will create a group. Now that it is inside of its own group, you can go to the left side here and there you have this little icon and you can select any of these shapes that you want. Let's start with a classic ellipse as we had before, because even that has some benefits. So you can see here, just draw out an ellipse. The color doesn't matter at all. That is filling our ellipse. And next on the right side where we have our layers, click and drag the ellipse layer into your group and make sure this is below the levels adjustment like this. So not linked to the levels adjustment. So there isn't this little arrow, but it should be just below the levels adjustment like that. And the next thing we're going to do is we are going to set the blend mode for our ellipse to erase like that. And this is basically a negative mask, you could say, because now when we go into our levels adjustment and for example, we limit the output of the white levels to make the surrounding darker, you will see that it will apply everywhere, but not where our ellipse is. And now the cool thing is because it's just an ellipse, you can select the ellipse, you can move it around and you can also rotate it and you can also resize it and also reshape it if you want to. It's just curves, you know, so you can do whatever you want with it. I know you're probably saying this has hard edges. We want to have a soft ellipse. Well, you can do that too because when you have this ellipse layer selected, of course you can apply your level effect. So click here on the effects tab and there you have your Gaussian blur. And when you activate this with this little hook here, check mark, push it up and you see this is going to be blurred around the edges. And you can also, of course, when you hit the 100 pixel marks, enter a bigger number by hand, for example, 150 pixels and you can see it went a bit more blurred. And now, like I said, we have the ability to have our custom vignette shape. So not only can we have one ellipse, you can hold control, click and drag to copy it. And now we have two ellipses. So you can put them wherever you want, any kind of shape that you imagine for your ellipse that is artistically interesting for you can be done like this. Let's look at them real quick. So you can make the blacks darker. As you can see, you can make the whites whiter. Then you also have in the middle your gamma. Below here, output, you can set the output black levels to limit the darkness of the black levels. So you can see if I pull this over, it the darker values are getting brighter. And if I pull this over here, which is limiting the output white levels, this is making the bright values darker as you can see. So all of these are different adjustments that get, can help us. And for example, you can see if I pull this in, the background is simply getting darker. But if I pull the gamma to the right side, you can see that 
The background is getting a bit darker, but it's also getting more saturated and has a bit more contrast. So you can also use this to your benefit. But there is more. We are not done yet. Like I said, this is a very artistic way to do a vignette and you can apply any kind of adjustment. We are not done with the levels adjustment. For example, you can say, I want to have a color balance also in my vignette because for example, I want my background to be more red or more green or whatever kind of adjustment you imagine. You want it to be warmer, you want it to be cooler. You can do all of these kind of things. You can even add a HSL adjustment to make completely different colors like this, where you say, okay, I want my main subject be surrounded by blue tinted colors for some reason. You can do that too. So complete artistic freedom with a very easy trick for uh, custom vignette styles. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next one. If you like this video, maybe give me a like and maybe also subscribe to the channel. If you do, please also hit the bell icon so you get notified when I upload a new video. Thank you very much and see you soon. Bye.